Odisha is a state of 42 million in eastern India. Although rich in natural resources, Odisha has faced many development challenges, such as large pockets of extreme deprivation, fiscal difficulties, insurgency movements and natural disasters. Despite these challenges, the infant mortality and stunting rates in Odisha have improved considerably over the last 25 years. Recent data on stunting shows that Odisha has done better than some states with similar and lower levels of poverty. What has led to this progress in health and nutrition outcomes for children in Odisha? Good nutrition depends on a range of factors such as quantity and quality of food, access to health services, support for child and maternal care, a healthy environment and basic factors such as income, livelihood and infrastructure. If these are in place in a community, children have a good chance of being well nourished. Odisha has done well in most health and nutrition indicators. The proportion of women with a healthy body mass index is higher now than before. Breastfeeding rates have improved over the years. More children are born in health facilities and more children are immunized now. What is concerning is that the proportion of women receiving iron and folic acid supplements during pregnancy has gone down. To make these improvements possible, the state has effectively implemented national level policies in addition to innovations at the state level. Mothers and frontline workers in the community also echo these changes in health and nutrition policies and programs. There are a range of other indicators that are essential for nutrition to work. In Odisha, while a few indicators such as the proportion of people buying rice from the government's food security program, access to drinking water and roads have seen improvement, many indicators such as sanitation, women's attainment of secondary education, early age of marriage and girls remain areas of concern. Just as for health and nutrition programs, the government's food security program, the public distribution system, has seen a progressive evolution under the national policy framework and state-led initiatives. Several factors contributed to the success of health and nutrition programs and the public distribution system. Political will, bureaucratic leadership and stability, support of civil society and development partners, adequate financing at the national and state level, building operational capacities and pathways of scaling up, an environment of measurement, learning and accountability. Odisha has done well to address health and nutrition in the state, but malnutrition rates are still high, so we need to do more. There are many organizations working to improve nutrition in Odisha, including government, civil society, NGOs and development partners. While the government's support for nutrition needs to continue, the government must look at nutrition more multi-sectorally by engaging other departments to see what is working and what is not. Many problems remain. High levels of poverty, disparities in development outcomes among socio-economic groups, lack of sanitation, early marriage among girls and threatened access to land, especially among indigenous populations. We hope that these problems are addressed urgently so that further improvements can be made in the nutrition for mothers and children of Odisha.